we are on our way to Gore Island. We just passed the checkpoint. We're taking a ferry. It leaves at 2.30. The ferry leaves at 2.30 and we're at the port, okay? This is the ferry station. Yay! Most of the houses were built by those rocks. But at the time after the eruption, nobody lived inside this island. Just the fishing people who found the Lebu. The Lebu in my country, they are a special ethnic group. Most of them they are fishing. They used to come for the fishing trip, and after that they returned back at night to that country. But the story said the first European ever started with Portuguese in the year 1444. But they waited until 1536 before they started to build the first houses of Gori. That's why we can say on Gore, most of the houses located in the edge of the sea used to be in captivity or slavery houses. That one we are going to visit right now, it was just the last one that one the Senegalese government keep on took as a symbol for remembering the African past story. Because before, those captives used to come from all the parts of West Africa and pass by Gore Island as a transit center for the North America, like Louisiana. Then why Gore Island has been? The second reason is as in an island, when they bring capital, they can escape. That's why step by step, Gore will be one of those most important transit centers. But out of Gore, we can talk about Calabar Cape Coast in Nigeria, Malada, Ouida in Benin, not part of Gambia, James Island, Akari Island, or Emina Ford. No. But officially, they give us a number of 50 to 20 millions of captives. Million died in the invasion of Africa. That's one of the reasons now, Gore is visited as a sanctuary for the world human and the black diaspora to remember this African past. I, I, most of the time, I let know our guests, we couldn't limit the history of Gore Island just in the same time. Maybe Gore had two stories, 1536 until 1840, to correspond to the slave trade time. You can't forget the first one was Portuguese, after them the Dutch, French, British, French, British, French, British, French, British, French. But after the end of the slave trade, corresponding with the year 1848, will be ruled by France within 200 years by colonization. That's one of the reasons of the building in the center of the land. But we're going to move today. Of course, we'll start with the most important thing, which will be the slave house story. They used to wait here. We had the idea that it's called the weight rules. The minimum weight for men was corresponding to 60 kilograms, 50 zero. Oh. What is it? For any slave man, it's less than 60 kilograms. They used to put them in one cell to feed them. Oh. At the time we were feeding them some type of beans, we called them nyebe in Senegal. This local black beans. As with the palm oil, they pushed them to eat by force. And between all captives, they found the best ethnic groups, calling the Yoruba people. Those Yoruba mostly they from Nigeria or Benin. They used to call them stallions, stronger and tall. I'm sorry, but a difficult example of those Yoruba is the black African Americans, who was coming from the Africa real selection. When they know the way, they will separate them automatically according to sex and age. With your permission, let me show you the part reserved especially for men. We got to when the slaves step out of the door, it means goodbye, Africa. Because from the door, the separation was always total. Let me give an example to make sure you understand what I'm saying. For the family with a dad, a mom, a brother, and a sister. Easily the father must be sent to Louisiana in those states. The moms in Cuba, the sister Brazil, and the brother in, in, in Haiti. The family will be completely separate for life. Mm -hmm. And when they are leaving, they never let them go with their African authentic names. They always usually not a fan of things like this because it is just heartbreaking and it makes you angry and it's just Oh la la. 
so this is upstairs on the same house that has the point of no return on that door and this is what it looks like quite peaceful and serene but obviously when those kind of things are happening Getting a taste of this ananas drink. I love the word ananas. It's pineapple and French. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Tastes like pine nuts. Sour bean. Yummy. We are at the top of the Gore Island. As in, I'm not going to fool up. I'm shabbing. Yeah, I'm not So I'm gonna end the Gory Island vlog here because we're going down and we're rushing for the ferry. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Got to see a bit of Senegalese history. I am so sweaty, my goodness. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Oh, there you go. Merci. Bye bye.